Hey guys, so welcome back to Cooking with Jake. So today I'm going to be making a sort of sausage and sweet corn pasta. So it's using buck sausage, sweet corn pasta obviously, and the tomato sauce thing from Sainsbury's. Just a pre-made tub so I don't have to make it myself because that can take a while. It's the same thing as last time where it's kind of cheap but also quite simple to make. So let's get it going. Yeah. Jake, since you're cooking you should really put your hair up. What? Why? I know you're not serving it to anyone different and not anyone else, but you should really put the hair up. Just health and safety. Plus the fact people in the last video made comments about it, so you should really put your hair up. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Damn it. Fine. I have a bowl. There you go. I hope you're happy. <laughs> They're good enough for you. It's good enough for me. I'm gonna put my beanie on. My head's cold. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, time to make some pasta. So first, you wanna get your big deep pot, mainly something like that, really deep for pasta. And you wanna fill it to at least half, up to three quarters with water. You can put salt in, just to flavour the pasta. Just do it without, if you haven't got salt, like I don't. And then, preferably cold water, but you can put it in warm. Don't know what it will do to the pasta. You might pre-cook it, you never know. But fill that with water. And also have a pan for your meat. And you want the water to boil, to so start bubbling effectively before you put your pasta in. And a tip with pasta, one handful will basically become two. It basically doubles up in size. So don't put like four handfuls in thinking, oh that'll be enough. Two handfuls will be plenty. I'm really hungry so I'm going to go for three if they fit on the plate. That is a big thing. Having Richmond sausages today, I don't know whether people in other countries will know what Richmond sausages are. They're very good and very tasty and they're one of my favourites. But the other thing is, usually on the back of the packet, it will say whether you should poke them when they're cooked, like pierce the actual sausage when they're cooked. Richmond say don't, keep an eye out because sometimes it, because it spurts out hot grease, which burns. Just keep an eye on that. It's now heating up, it may take a while. So while that's heating up, you want to put a little bit of water in your meat pan, your frying pan, and put the sausages in. You should have defrosted them or just brought them in. So it gets a little bit of water to put in the bottom of the pan just to keep it so it doesn't stick while it's cooking. And yeah, see you in a bit. So now the pasta water is boiling. Perfect timing. Now I'm going to put the pasta in. Now remember it's one handful basically doubles in size. Pasta basically doubles in size. So two should be fine. I'll put three in because I'm hungry. Plus the fact I've got sauce and sweet corn and sausage. So I'm hungry. Yeah. Always remember to keep pasta stirring because when it's dry, you just put it in, it'll get really sticky. So you stir it for five minutes to keep it continuously moving so it heats up. That's all good, everything's going nicely. Very hot and steamy. So the next stage is basically just to wait for the sausages to go brown. Heat them up a little bit and I'm going to cut them up, put the sauce in. And then maybe put the sweet corn in the microwave for a little like 30 seconds to kind of heat up a little, then drop it in. Or just drop them in straight away. Full tin of sweet corn. Green giant. Those two. And then we've got the same usual pasta. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for everything to cook up now. Make sure nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. Make sure nothing goes drastically wrong. The pasta is starting to soften up a little bit. The sausages are starting to smell nice, so that's also a good sign. Keep them moving as well. Don't let them curve, if that makes sense. Because sometimes some sausages curve a certain way and you want them to be reasonably straight. They're not like people, it doesn't matter. Look at me talking, I'm essential. Make sure nothing sticks either. When they start to float, let's get to the point where it's sort of now-ish. I'll show you. When it starts to float, you want to turn it down and just keep it at that soft temperature. I'll show you. So you want to keep it at this temperature. So as you can see, they're starting to get a little bit soft, a little bit spongy, and they're near the top of the surface. That's good. And the sausages are slowly turning brown. Obviously, it's just preference. Do you want the sausages to burn? Do you want it like whatever near the surface? So if you do that, shake it. You can see they're near the top. And they stay in there. I'll just do that. Do it again. Shake it to move them off the bottom. Up and pulse them up. So now above the spoon, that's what you want. Just keep it at that temperature and turn up the sausages because that's what you're waiting for. The pasta's basically done now, you just got to keep it at that temperature for a bit and just basically cook the sausages. The pasta was pound two pound a bag, so that amount is about 50p. Same thing with the sausages, the sausages were two pounds for eight, they're a pound for four, half of those, so 
be a bit more. Sauce was a pound, a full jar, so it's 50p again. And the green giant sweet corn, which is a full tin that we're using, 75p. So it comes to about £3.50, £3 for one meal. And it's quite a large meal, and I think quite a lot. But you guys can obviously, if you don't have a lot of money, you can sort of split it up. So you've got two sausages, two handfuls of pasta, half of a tin of sweet corn, quarter of a tin of sauce, like that kind of thing. And use some of the grease from the sausages to kind of fill out the sauce. It's obviously preference. If you like the video, yeah. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and pasta is now cooling off, so I'll heat it back up again. Sausages might burn to the bottom of the pan, which they have done. Let's give them a little bit of a shake. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to you when the sausages are done cooking. All that good stuff. See you in a bit. Now I'd say these sausages are definitely done. I mean, the pan looks gross. It's crusted on, admittedly, and lots of bits of sausage skin and stuff like that. But I'd say now it's time to uh, take them off onto the little plate I've got here. Now it's time to pour some of this on. It may go it's probably away from you. I'm gonna check how much you've used. If you want to use some more, you're very welcome to. It's just preference really at this point. Then what you want to do is you want to grab the sweet corn, pack it together, save time. You want to get rid of some of this, the liquid as well, not all of it, because you can use some of it in the sauce. Ooh, and then you've got this spoon to mix in. It is lifting off quite a large amount of the bird on salt sausage. This may look completely gross or it may look delicious depending on how you feel. And I think that looks pretty good. So that just needs to cook now for a bit. So I'd get hot boiling and put that sausage back in so it can cooks again. Make sure the pasta is being looked after. That's looking very good. And then I'd say it's time to put this stuff back in. And there we go. And put that in the sink. So you can cut this up while it's here. Just slip, 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 slip. And then we've got smaller bits of sausages. If you want them smaller, you can have them smaller. But now that is pretty much done. You should wait for it to get a bit hotter. Five minutes on there. No, there's no bread, no garlic bread this time, fortunately. Sorry about the mess, if you see it. This is kind of an experiment, not done this sort of thing before. Just chicken last time. Sausage is kind of hard to cook on my frying pan. Something's wrong with it. It seems to burn really, really easy. and get really hot really fast. We're just supposed to sort of heat up this, just goes whoosh. But that's all done. Just gotta serve it up now, plate it up. It's all good. So remember, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe and share with your friends and hit the little bell thing so you know when I upload and comment down below what other recipes, what other things you want me to have a look at for really cheap prices. It's about a three pound meal. So yeah, it's all good, pretty much done. Hey guys, so time to plate up I think. Pasta's warm, it's really round. I just turned it off to make sure it doesn't burn or get stuck. This is definitely hot, you can see it. Hear it, time to plate up. Oh, bubble up, because I'm using a bowl. So here's the bowl. One bowl, this is all for me, but I've made too much food. Pasta's done, make sure there's nothing left.
go, take my hat off now, and I get to see my uh, hair and all its glory. Pasta done, sausage sweet corn pasta. Looks amazing, kind of bit the sausage a little bit too much, but it looks fine, looks great. You make mistakes when you're cooking, because obviously you've got to work with two things, so it's a little bit tricky, but if you want me to do anything, any, anything else I've not done, so not chicken tikka masala, not pasta, rice maybe, or couscous or something, Comment down below, it can be tea, it can be lunch, it can be a breakfast, it can be anything you like. Just comment down below, I'll try and make a recipe, I'll try it out first, and then I'll make it. So yeah, like and subscribe, bell me, remember to hit the bell, click the send me notifications. Like the video if you like my hair up. It's kind of gone a bit purple, because blue it should really go green, not purple. I do. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe, see you next time. You guys are awesome, beautiful, and great chefs. <laughs> see ya.